Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our um, Musilon playthrough as, uh, Brain forgetting Malablade. <laughs> Definitely didn't forget his name there, where things are going reasonably well. Now, somebody's been telling me in comments, I've just not read this properly and I should be able to do this. I'm not sure I should. I mean, it doesn't do anything, it literally just changes the model, so, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you can work out why it's not working for me, if it is meant to be working at the moment. This is very much in beta, guys, so I wouldn't be surprised at all if it isn't working. If it's just not turned on yet, guys, I'm going to be honest, so. Yeah, let's keep poking stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go for the growth here because we're not too bad off, badly off at the moment. Obviously, we are fighting the evil Bellicor at the moment, um, who has come at us. We've uh, at least temporarily pieced out with a lot of those around us. Um, fine, he can have military access. It's not really beneficial for him at this point, and it keeps him on side. Um, He's a bit upset with me because I've been be befriending other factions, basically. But yeah, so we've pieced out with, I think, everybody at the moment for the time being. So, yeah. I mean, the Empire is struggling because of a Festus. Uh, it's got a festering problem, guys. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a dad? For, because of the excellent dad jokes. Right. Oh, yes. What? Ready. Uh, oh, and a mortis engine, even better. <laughs> Uh, glorious uh, cavalry, guys. Glorious Bretonian undead cavalry of doom. Can I actually? Yeah, we're also actually going to push down here for some uh, so some extra Breton fair Bretonian cavalry. Hmm. Let us see. Oh, I can't afford them. God damn it. I just love the look of these Black Knights, though, as well. I mean, they're still fairly good. They've got solid melee defense. They do have Knights of the Realm as well. Uh, it's this, the these, the the forty percent physical resistance while charging, uh, which means it doesn't last long. But they've still got relatively good melee defense as well, which makes them spectacular. Um, I think this army is just going to become a a, a cavalry hell. Just going to become a massive cavalry force, guys. The Admiral is going to keep pushing north. And, yeah. Hmm. Take the extra leadership. The Admiral can take the port. There we go. Blessings of the Lady be upon you. I'm sorry, guys. You are literally being stripped out of this army. I don't want anything slow. Follow me. 
Their upkeep's fairly high too, but these alongside my blood knights. Okay, that'll that'll do for now. Here uh, and who? Let's actually have a look at my regions. I mean, for now, growth, but. Yeah, no, I'm going to leave everything on growth. I do want to potentially push out more income long run, but for now, that's fine. <laughs> I love some of my battle sites. You reek of anguish. Ah, I thought that might happen at some point. I may need to send an army that way, but... The glorious Bretonian cavalry of undeath is going to uh, destroy the world. Hang on. <clears throat> I think Andrew isn't quite powerful enough to go take on um, Guilty Boy, so he's probably going to be left for now taking my leave let's just fall back this way to see if we can get some fun from these battle sites though guardian because he definitely needs some calf Note to self, don't overspend. I actually don't mind about overspending, I'm buffing up these guys at the moment, but yeah. Glorious Bretonian cavalry will rule the battlefield. Who needs infantry? Definitely not worrying. Ooh, so many good things. Valiant Lord. That'll do for now. You can start double timing, Mr. Andrew, this way. See, he does get virtues, but I don't know if I can actually see them. That'll do. I've got a lot of junk I could probably merge. And Mallow Blade has some of these these crappy items too, so yeah, definitely need to do a bit of bit of item fusing. Uh, 
That's actually not terrible armor, so I'm not going to fuse them. No point in fusing blue stuff. Okay, right, Malablade. You already have a really solid armor, though. Giant's Bane. And a potion of healing. There we go. That'll do. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at this beautiful army, guys. Which isn't going to do anything this turn because I'm still, built, I'm still building up. Yep, there we go. Soon we will un unleash the Holy Crusade against Belakor. You see, we're not evil, guys. We are fighting against the forces of chaos. Shit. Not a cat. Oh, at least he didn't take it. I was going to say, if he took it, I suspected that it was going to get destroyed by the Beastmen straight afterwards, which would have been annoying. Le Admiral... Le and Andrew Le Admiral... The Admiral is on his way at full speed to try and defend the Empire's ter our territories. Oh god, I might have to deal with him too. Noble. Striking out. Glory awaits. Leaving. Don't want to go too fast. That's relatively safe. Let's just get two of those so we can get going relatively quickly. We've got a beautiful mixed cavalry force here, guys. It would be brilliant long run to get it to be all Blood Knights and Black Temp... Uh, Black... Uh, Undead Ground Knights, whatever they're called. Um, but yeah, that's a long long run plan. Torox the Brass Bull is worrying me. And he's raiding my territory, so I suspect we actually need to deal with him, which ain't great. Stop the beautiful cavalry ride north. Uh, we're not actually in that territory. I was looking just in case there was something worth picking up. Moving up. Get the crap out of my territory, please. I don't trust him at all. God damn. Uh, I may have needed to bring both armies here. Ab the Admiral is going to have fun fighting this, but we'll see how it goes. Nuln! Why? Why are you letting him pass through your lands? I don't know it ever done to you besides take over your neighbours. Yes. Get our butts into here. This is definitely a risky move. Yes. Right, to see. So I know some of these aren't quite cavalry, but but they're they're close enough, if you see what I mean. Looking at some of these other units. 
I mean, we are going to try and be cavalry focused because it fits really well for the faction. Oh, okay. God damn you, Gelt. Coward! Ooh. You know what? Let's let's join in this battle because it'll be good fun. <laughs> even if we don't win, even if we're not particularly useful here. Um, yeah, there's a massive brawl going on here. Uh, my garrison coming in to support from behind as well versus Kemler's zombie horde here. And it is Heinrich Kemmler, you know, he really wa will have a massive, powerful zombie horde, because that's what he does. Oh, through the woods as well. Oh, that is a beautiful position to hold. Not that the yeah, AI would hold it properly. See, I have humans and undead. An equal opportunity in slaver, employer. La 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 la. For the lady. Stay hidden in Run the woods, down. please. Run. It is where the whole thing gets a bit tricky, as I just have to kind of wait. I think now is the opportune moment. Forward! to reveal ourselves from the woods to utterly panic their strung out forces which are not even vaguely set up properly this force is the worst force so, but if we can close down this and stop them reinforcing nicely That thing being, we don't even necessarily really need to engage. Poison arrows! Volley! We just kind of have to stand here and look at them. And make them worry. So we're lovely this like there, although basically uh, we've, he's been incredibly outmaneuvered. This is still the big fight up here, uh, which I can't really do much about, but still. Start dropping stuff into here, please. Start wandering this way. Into the rear. Get those Zeds in. 
Oh no, 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 let's just squish this. And now to hit this. I'm not expecting to do fantastically here, guys. Uh, if you see what I mean. I was never expecting to do amazingly here. But I don't need to. I just needed to distract. Uh, while Gemla did his thing. Though he's still... Oh, he's still getting units coming in. Uh, let's just charge my doggies in. Armed and ready. Ready for battle. Protect Brits only. Trying to break through and get into the rear here. Though my lines are breaking quite a bit, so the uh the surround has kind of failed. Keeping the fire on those swordsmen, and here they are, surrounded by the glorious undead forces of Musulon and her vassals, as the Humis start fleeing. Good. Bit of good old fashioned control A action then. Onto this small pocket of Earth Empire resistance. Your metallic lord who gives you extra armor won't help you against my poison. Good. Squish the Humies. Our flank, our little bit's gone well. Uh, we've taken losses, but we've actually done quite well here. We are our, our, our break, beginning to break them all. Um, we've taken, as I said, we've taken heavy losses, but that was always expected. And to be there, the losses so far have been zombies, so who cares? Fight over here is going. Um, this is probably the most important bit of the battle, which I have nothing to do with, actually. Let's start advancing this way then. Oh, take them out quickly. Yeah, advancing to the rear of here. I am aware some of their units have come back. I honestly don't care. These guys aren't really that important. It's dealing with the stuff up here, which is going to be make or break for the battle, so... Stop herding them off. Lovely old bit, good old fashioned bit of control A action here. Into the melee, to be fair. It's mostly already finished. I mean, I say I probably wasn't needed here. You know, we, we did provide the hammer, the, 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 the hammer to the anvil uh, there. Uh, while they may have been breaking, we made sure of it. Let's turn around and, and it's over. There we go. 
the forces of the Empire are routed by our brave Bretonian men? <laughs> I did quite well. I got a lot of kills there. I got 703 kills compared to, you know, I didn't get as many kills, but when you consider the size of my force compared to the size of Kemler's forces he brought into the battle, I did surprisingly well. Unsurprisingly, the boss man and the great swords did fantastically. That was probably mostly through spells from from Gelt Metal Face Boy himself. But yeah, that was fun. That was very different. And we played it well, because if we just charged out, if we'd just charged out, they'd have seen us and reformed for us. Now, Okay, a player would have known exactly what to do there, but but he's not a player. And that's more realistic, you know, we were we were the sneaky force from behind, which they didn't realise would come. <clears throat> God damn you, Bellico. The question is, who's he gonna attack first? I suspect I'm gonna be able to peace out here. Let's see. Honor. Call me master. I'm sorry, look at that guy. He just looks cool. Blessings of the Lady be upon you. Leonardo Ganganier. Or bloke no. who's just being recruited here to try and hold the line slight for, for, for slightly longer. Good. Yes, I know. I'm keeping going because I need to deal with him. I want to fight it because I want to see how my uh, cavalry force of doom, the the might of the Bretonian undead cavalry wing here. I want to see. A, I want to see what they look like, and I want to see how it performs against a uh, substantially lesser thing. I mean, effectively, we're going to smash into them, then surround them, and then just just kill them all, basically. We have the speed to make sure this this is basically a non-battle, let's be honest. Okay, guys, they look cool. I mean, there's no need to be subtle here, guys. <laughs> In we go. I mean, these guys with their hun hunger just makes them spectacular anyway. Stop! 
we go. Did they? Actually kill one of my units. Oh crap. To be fair, I probably should have been paying a bit more attention, but still, I wasn't expecting that. My blade is yours. My soul is a flame. Kill them! The Death Guard for pole arms, to be fair, I should have said. I think they killed a unit of Black Guard. Of Black Knights, which are my crappy knights, so I don't really care. And obviously we've got the Mortis, Mortis engine here, engine. which is beautiful, because it constantly heals and it constantly damages, I do believe. Yeah. So I would actually like a second Mortis engine in here, because, you know. Die and rise. Nope, everybody fall back. Mallow blade. Charge! I'm oh, not even going to get there. Not even going to make it there. Yeah. Oh, one of my units of Archer Cavalry. I'm not that fussed. While they're useful, I'm not that fussed by losing them. I'm going to be honest. I think they're a bit redundant in this current force setup. So, yeah. They're low level. Basically, long run, this will just be probably Blood Knights. Uh... Blood Knights as my front line and uh, Black Grail Knights as my not front line. <laughs> that is a technical term, guys. Don't use it. I will alone. All die. This better be important. doesn't up their defense. I hate it when it does that. That does, though. And ward save. Here we go. You can become a lovely arcane conduit. The Admiral. You know of my powers, and God still you it. come. See, so I want to make them pay. I do want to take Gnome, but... My reputation precedes me. You know what, Leandro, you're going to keep an eye on them, please, because I do not like him just wandering around raiding my territory. Oh, and after that battle, the... it's not that I can afford much at the moment, but that's useful. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Yeah, we're just keeping an eye on Bellacor. I suspect he's going to go poke the elves. But anyway, guys, that is where we're going to leave this for today. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough. Please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying it, guys. As I am a long-form channel, guys, which goes against the grain with YouTube, your likes really, really do help. And please pop a comment down below if there's anything you want to say, any feedback, positive or negative, guys. Hell, if you want to just swear at me, chuck it in the comments. It all helps. It all helps appease the almighty algorithm, guys. And also an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons who gets get access to this about early access to my videos about once a week. That's Monster Bound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Adri T, Brataru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, and Jared Horn. And thank you everyone for watching. Cheers all.